the boundary layer. So we have a flat plate here and we have a formation of boundary layer which consists of laminar and then turbulent. Where your boundary layer start that is called as leading edge and this one is called as trailing edge. This one is width B. At leading edge we have X equal to 0. At trailing edge we have X equal to L. And we have uniform flow of U infinity. This is called as upstream U infinity. Because of viscosity of a fluid, the velocity near the wall is 0. And we have a velocity profile is somewhat like this. The velocity maximum up to this point is 0.99. So this much height is called as the boundary layer thickness. The velocity will go on decreasing as we approaches towards the fixed plate. At any vertical distance y, we have local velocity equal to u and we have a definite relation between u and u infinity. So this one is a small thickness parallel to the width. This small thickness has an area equal to b multiplied by dy. So we can calculate the discharge through this as rho multiplied by rho means we are getting the mass here. This thickness is dy thickness. Rho into B into dy multiplied by u is a mass flow rate. So you have to multiply by a rho and we are getting here dm that is dm dot. So m dot from this section is given as integral of rho multiplied by B multiplied by u multiplied by dy and to be integrated from 0 to delta. So this is a mass flow rate at this section and this height is called as delta height that is boundary layer thickness. Your axis system you have to fix at the leading edge. So this axis is x axis and this one is y axis. So we can develop the boundary layer conditions here. At y is equal to 0, your value of delta is also equal to 0. So this is the first boundary condition. Your velocity profile must satisfy these boundary conditions. Second boundary condition at trailing edge is at y is equal to delta, u is equal to u infinity. This is second boundary condition. Now this value is maximum. So for this one, if we differentiate then du by dy, at y is equal to delta must equal to 0. This is the third boundary condition. So all velocity profile must satisfy minimum three conditions. Now the mass flow rate at inlet that is when the plate is not present for the same value of delta that is same cross section here at inlet that is without the plate the mass flow will be equals to from this section is rho multiplied by b multiplied by delta multiplied by u infinity. Your velocity is constant throughout the section and this mass is leaving from the system. So because of insertion, there is a loss in mass. Let's say we have AB section. So this one is mass flow through AB. This one is C and this point is D and this one is mass flow through CD. So M dot AB is more than M dot CD. That is called as loss in mass is M dot AB minus M dot CD is also called as mass defect and we can have a this mass defect by using shifting the boundary layer by a certain thickness that is called as displacement thickness. So this defect is adjusted using a displacement thickness and is given by del star equal to integral 0 to delta 1 minus u upon u infinity into dy. Now since there is a loss in mass, we have a loss in momentum also. So we have momentum thickness which is represented as theta is integral 0 to delta 1 minus u upon u infinity multiplied by u upon u infinity into dy. Hence we have the energy thickness which represents the loss in kinetic energy is represented by del double star is integral 0 to delta u upon u infinity into bracket 1 minus u square upon u infinity square into dy. The displacement thickness and momentum thickness are related by one more term that is called as shift factor. Capital H is del asterisk divided by theta. So the three main questions comes as a displacement thickness, momentum thickness and energy thickness. Now sometimes they will ask you the loss of mass or sometimes they ask you that if you have given one section here EF and the boundary layer thickness at this section is delta 1. So anytime you can write this value as m dot through section EF as 0 delta 1. So mass flow rate through the section EF is integral 0 to delta 1 rho multiplied by u multiplied by b multiplied by dy and this mass is in. Let's consider another section here which is GH section and this time we have boundary layer thickness equal to delta 2. 
So we can calculate mass flow rate through the section GH also is given as integral 0 to delta 2 rho multiplied by u multiplied by b multiplied by dy. Naturally delta 2 is more than delta 1. It means that m dot gh is more than m dot ef. So m dot ef is less than m dot gh. So we can apply the law of conservation of mass between the section ef and gh. No mass will enter from the eg because it is a solid plate. This mass is entering. This mass is leaving. And this mass leaving through section gh is more than the mass entering from EF. It means that some mass must enter from FH side. So we can apply the law of conservation of mass to this and we can write here the mass entering from FH must equal to the mass flow rate GH that is leaving mass minus mass EF that is entering mass and no mass is coming from EG because of solid plate. So we have just applied the law of conservation of mass about this section. For boundary layer, we have one more powerful equation that is called as own Karman integral equation, which is normally used to find out the shear stress at the wall and is given as tau w divided by rho u infinity square. So denominator here is a dynamic pressure. Numerator is a shear stress, is a dimensionless term, is given as d theta by dx, where theta is called as momentum thickness. The local shear stress tau x is cfx coefficient of friction multiplied by 1 by 2 rho into infinity square. How much dynamic pressure is converted into shear stress? That is called as coefficient of friction. So both has a unit of Pascal here and this also is a Pascal. Similarly, the wall shear stress you can calculate as cfl or cd into 1 by 2 rho u infinity square where cd is same as cfl is the total value of cfx over the range 0 to l. So we have a famous formula here. If you multiply by tau w with area, we will get drag force. So drag force is shear stress at the wall multiplied by area is a cd multiplied by 1 by 2 rho into infinity square multiplied by area. cd into half into rho infinity square is basically coefficient of tau wall. In case of laminar flow, the boundary layer thickness at any distance x that is delta x is given as phi u into x upon under root of r e x. Equation varied for laminar flow. If you solve for r e x, you can conclude that the boundary layer thickness is proportional to root x where r e x is given as rho inf u infinity into x divided